In today's video, a KP47 Toyota Publica Starlet that broke my heart about five minutes ago. And welcome one and all to the latest Wasabi Cars video. I hope you are all doing well. And to my subscribers who have been supporting this channel and myself, of course, for many, many years. Thank you so much. And to the KP47 lovers who saw a thumbnail on a random channel and thought they'd check it out. Thanks for dropping by. Mind you, you're not going to learn much. Back in 2014 when I saw this car, it was the first time I had seen one of these two doors. And since then, that would be um, five or six years, probably five, I've seen another two or three. Here's number one and it looks very, very tidy and sensible. And here is number two looking amazing. Unfortunately, I got no video footage of this one. So there you go, just the two. The third one was a Daihatsu Consort. So just so we are all on the same page, I did see this car back in 2014 and not since. Now that I look at this car, now that I make this video, there are so many questions I do have for the owner. Sadly, I'm not able to get answers to those questions. I do look to the car and there are things about the car that do answer some questions. In fact, that does lead us to what makes me sad about this car, but I'll get there when I get there. There can be no denying that this car has been well put together and well looked after. It's been given the race trim treatment. Was it a track car back in the day? It feels like that. Again, I just have no information. Looking at the car, we've got that. It looks to be hand formed, chin, spoiler. Very steep angle, very, very cool. SR badge on the grille. Interesting styling up front. It looks modern for the early 70s, and yet there's something just weird going on. It looks interesting. It's good. I like it. And the wheels are magic. They are Tom's Igetta. And then there's also SR on the fuel filler cap, and then out the back we've got a bobtail spoiler. So if you also feel making a five minute video out of two minutes of footage is a dead set miracle, do consider subscribing <laughs> and also click that bell to get notifications of new videos. In fact, whether you've done it or not, unclick it and click it again. Okay, so what is it that broke my heart? And here's the deal. I got to the end of the week, Friday, not knowing what video to make on Saturday. And I thought, you know what, how about that old video that I shot many years ago of a nice, sweet car. The thumbnail is going to look great. That'll do. So I do a little bit of research this morning and I'm zooming in on the, the plate, the body plate or the, um, you know, the specification plate. And it says KP47. And I'm thinking, great, you know, the KP47 was the sporty one. That's sweet. But then it goes on to say KS and then something that I can't quite see there. And I take this information, I go and I check the Toyota Global website, and it points out that this car, though it is a 1200cc car, well, 11, uh, 1166cc, whatever, um, it is not the five-speed car. It is not the sporty, sporty SR version, but the ST version. Yeah, I found that a bit deflating. And look, the country totally does do the Skyline GTR replicas. Heaps. But other cars, they just don't. I, I truly believe they don't really do that in a big way. So certainly not to the extent that they do in Australia, where there are four, six, seven, ten times as many GTs and GTSs than there were that rolled out of the factories back in the day. Anyway, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed that, despite the letdown. I hope you did enjoy the video, though it didn't turn out to be an SR. But still, it is a sweet car. You can't deny that. Everyone, thanks so much. Take it easy and goodbye.